Good afternoon everybody. I am Dr. Shilpa Reddy, Consultant Radiation Oncologist at Apollo Cancer Institute, Hyderabad. Today I am here to speak to you about neuroblastoma. I will be speaking to you about what exactly is neuroblastoma, what are the causes and what are the symptoms of neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma, as the word says it, it is a cancer that arises from the immature nerve cells, which are the blast cells. Where do they come from? Well, a human body, a fetus, has immature nerve cells in many parts of the body, most likely along the adrenal glands and the spine and many other areas. Now, these immature nerve cells, gradually they develop and become mature and they form into nerve cells. When these neuroblasts do not mature and they remain in that immature state and they abnormally divide, that is when these become a neuroblastoma, which is a pediatric cancer. Neuroblastoma is a pediatric cancer which is most commonly seen in 5 years and below age group. It can be seen in a bit of adult children also. Now, what is the exact cause for this neuroblastoma? Unfortunately, majority of the neuroblastomas cause behind is unknown. So, few of the uh, neuroblastomas, a very small percentage of them having said that, they have a bit of familial inheritance. But that is the only documented other risk factor you can look at. Now let us discuss about what are the symptoms of neuroblastoma. As we know that neuroblastoma likely arises from adrenal glands, which are the small glands which sit on the top of the kidney. Apart from that, neuroblastoma, it can arise from other areas. That can include your neck, chest, spine and other areas. The so symptoms of a neuroblastoma depends upon where the tumour is actually arising from. If it is arising from the abdomen, the child would have complaints like abdominal pain, bloating, and uh, if it is arising from the chest, there would be wheezing, chest pain, difficulty in breathing. If it is arising from the spine, there can be spine problems, there can be cord compression. Now, these are the things which we can expect. These are the most common symptoms as well. Now, based upon this symptomatology, we move ahead towards how to diagnose it with different tests which are available with us. And accordingly, we would stage the patient and risk stratify the patient. And that's how the treatment modality would start. Wherein, once we categorize a child into low risk, intermediate risk or high risk, our treatment strategy would be different. Most common option would be surgery first. When surgery, a debulking surgery is properly done, then based upon the risk stratification, the child would go for any need of adjuvant chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So this is in short about neuroblastoma, how it arises, what are the most common causes and risk factors and the symptomatology. Thank you.